Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Here we go. In today's video you will find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, EMA, Divergence and Stochastic RSI are showing for it, so you can become a more successful trader. By looking at the hourly time frame for IOTA, we can see that the price moved up quickly with around 4.3% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 18.9 cents. The volume was also high showing that this move was strong and the buyers are taking over. Jumping to the simple moving average, or short SMA, it is calculated by summing up the close prices for a certain amount of candles and then dividing it by the number of the candles. We use usually the last 20, 50, 100 and 200 candles to calculate the different SMAs. The SMA lines could be used to determine if a trend is currently to the downside or upside. The SMA lines could also show support and resistance levels and breaking one of them could signal trend to the corresponding direction. If we now look at the current hourly simple moving averages, the price crossed the 20 SMA upwards but the volume wasn't very high, which means it is not a very strong signal. The current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 18.2 cents. However, the shorter time frames are not very accurate and the bigger time intervals like the daily should also be considered for longer price development. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is above the hourly ribbon, which is generally bullish and the ribbon could play as a support, so it is to watch if the price could bounce off it. The current price to watch is around 17.8 cents. The support should be relatively strong seeing as the ribbon is spread out. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, owing to the bearish divergence, the price has already gone down. Jumping to the stochastic RSI, it shows similar to the RSI overbought and oversold conditions, but moves quicker up and down to improve sensitivity and generate a greater number of signals. It consists of two lines the percent %K and percent %D lines. The percent %D line is a moving average of the percent %K line, so it moves slower. Cross points between the two lines could show a trend change. Now looking at the current hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but we can see that the trend is currently going down because the K line is below the D line. Looking at the three hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is above all of the simple moving averages, which looks bullish and you should watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could remain stable or the price will dip below it with the current price of around 17.6 cents. Moving to the three hourly exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is above the three hourly ribbon, which can be perceived as bullish and the ribbon could play as a support. This means that you should watch if the price could bounce off the ribbon. The current price to watch is around 17.1 cents. The ribbon is spread out so the support should be strong. Nevertheless, seeing as THR price moved very quickly and it is situated very far over the ribbon, a pullback or for the price to remain the same for some time can be expected, before it shifts upwards. Jumping to the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 20 and the 50 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 16.4 cents it could be seen as a support and the 50 SMA that is at 19.0 cents could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Looking at the daily exponential moving averages, the current price is in the daily ribbon, so it is to see if the price can break the resistance currently at around 19.4 cents. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the resistance should be considered. Looking at the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are currently very high, which means that the price is overbought and a trend change or at least consolidation for some time is to be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. 
Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time.